For improved overall brake feel and stopping performance, one of the best upgrades that you can perform on your four-wheel drive is fitting the Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake upgrade kit. Within this handy ice box, you'll find a pair of Bendix Ultimate brake rotors, a set of Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake pads, and a vehicle-specific set of Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake lines, which are available in extended lengths. Also included in the kit are all of the consumables required to get the job done a bottle of Bendix Heavy Duty Brake Fluid, a can of Bendix Cleanup, and a tube of Bendix Ceramicil Brake Parts Lubricant. Each Bendix upgrade kit is developed to suit specific vehicle models. Fitment is relatively straightforward and should only be carried out by a qualified vehicle repairer. Today, we'll be fitting this kit to a 79 series Land Cruiser. First off, we'll replace the front brake pads and brake rotors. First, get the vehicle in the air and remove the wheels. Undo the front calipers and slide the brake pads out, making sure not to lose any retaining clips. Once the pads are out, unbolt the front brake calipers and hang them out of the way, making sure that the brake lines aren't holding their weight. With the calipers out of the way, slide the old rotors off the hubs. You may have to undo retaining screws to complete this process. With that, fitting up the Bendix Ultimate brake pads and Ultimate four-wheel drive rotors is a simple reversal of the removal process. First, push the brake caliper pistons back and ensure that the brake reservoir cap is removed with a rag to catch any overflow fluid. Then, spray a bit of the cleanup on the rag and give the fresh rotors a good wipe down. Before you fit the new rotors, it's good practice to give the hub a good clean with a wire brush to get rid of any corrosion and minimise the risk of creating any issues with disc thickness variation. Then, give it a final clean with brake clean and a rag. Once everything is nice and clean, simply slide the new Ultimate brake rotors onto the hub and bolt the brake calipers back on. Next, take the front Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake pads and Bendix Ceramicil brake parts lubricant out of the kit. Apply a small amount of brake lube to the shim and the back of each brake pad. This will help prevent any noise created by the pad rattling against the shim. And with that, simply refit the new pads to the caliper. Moving on to the rear, vehicles with four-wheel disc brakes have the option of a rear ultimate four-wheel drive brake upgrade kit. Replacing the pads and the rotors is basically the same process. Ensure all surfaces are clean and use the Ceramicil as required. Now it's time to get to work on fitting up the Bendix ultimate four-wheel drive brake lines. These are designed as a vehicle-specific kit and require no further modification to fit. To complete the upgrade, you'll want to have the appropriately sized brake line flare nut wrench at the ready to avoid rounding off any brake line fittings, as well as a drain pan for brake fluid. From there, it's simply a matter of undoing the OEM brake lines and draining the system, then refitting the Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake line in their place, repeating the process for each corner of the vehicle. Once all of the brake lines have been replaced, you'll need to bleed the brakes to expel any air from the system. For this, it works best if you have another technician available that can give you a hand. Grab your bottle of Bendix Heavy Duty Brake Fluid from the kit and get to work. You'll want to start at the furthest corner of the Brake Master Cylinder and work your way up from there. Grab your bleed bottle and attach the hose to the bleed nipple on the caliper. Crack open the bleed nipple and get your other technician to pump the brake pedal. As they pump the brakes, top up the Brake Master Cylinder with fresh brake fluid. Look at the bleed hose and watch for air bubbles. Once fresh brake fluid has flushed through the hose and air bubbles have stopped appearing, close the bleed nipple, ask your assistant to hold pressure on the brake pedal, crack the nipple and allow the fluid to drain into the bottle and then close the nipple. This will need to be repeated until all the air is 100% bled through. Pro tip, always make sure your brake fluid bleeder bottle has fluid covering the bleed line at the bottom of the bottle to prevent air being accidentally drawn back up into the caliper. Now, move on to the next furthest corner until you get to the driver's side front. Throughout the process, regularly check the level of fluid in the brake master cylinder and top up as necessary with fresh fluid, making sure not to let the cylinder run empty. If it does run empty, you'll have to start the bleeding procedure all over again. Once you've finished bleeding the brakes, make sure the fluid in the master cylinder is at the correct level, and then you're good to go. From there, it's time to get the wheels back on, get the vehicle back on the ground, and talk to spec and give it a test drive, making sure pedal feel is nice and firm and that there's no air left in the system. And there you have it, a relatively simple upgrade that makes an enormous change to the braking performance of any four-wheel drive. 
Bendix. Put your foot down with confidence.